Hello. Good day, folks. Oh, how are you? How are you? Leonard Robinson here. Artist, director, animator, retired guy nowadays. I wanted to talk about drawing uh, using shapes. Uh, as an artist, I think a lot of uh, a lot of people when they get started in the art world in the art business, they say, "Well, how do you draw like that? How are you able to just get the drawing the looking the way you want it to look?" And it's um, the formula. There, it's not like there's really formulaic ways of just doing everything. However, there are methods that we as professional artists have developed over the years that have worked as good success to us. And so when, and, and I'm also an instructor, I teach animation, I teach art, I teach drawing, <clears throat> uh, and I teach online. So by the way, if you are interested in a class, uh, you can contact me on my, uh, at my email, uh, Leonard Robinson at yahoo.com. Um, I will put a link in the, the description or I'll, I'll put something there for you to be able to find it. I, I have a website which has my contact information and I will uh, put it on the um, in the site somewhere where you can, can find it. Um, however, what I just wanted to take the opportunity to talk about today was uh, when you're getting started, uh, no matter what your level of expertise or no matter what your level as an artist is, um, what I want to do and those of us who are professionals would like to help you to be able to make that leap into the artwork and be effective at it. Um, you can obviously do a lot of things today uh, because of social media. You have a lot of things at your fingertips, and I'm certainly not going to tell you not to use them. Obviously, you use them. Uh, you know, you can trace other people's work. You can use photographs and modify them. There's all sorts of things you can do to get over. But I'm going to talk to you from a raw standpoint as an artist because those are not the things that we had to do. My generation and the generation prior to that, we had to learn anatomy. We had to learn design. We had to learn basic things in art. And what that did for us was that gave us a strength in art so that there wasn't anything we couldn't do. And so all of the um, things that you all have today, the Internet, uh, all of these programs and some of even some things that even help you to draw. <clears throat> we didn't have any of that. And so and once again, I'm not telling you not to use it. But what I am telling you is that when you're. You've got thousands of other people out there who are probably using the exact same tools. And when you have a strong base as an artist and you can do stuff on your own and you can invent things and you can create the images you want out of your head and put them on the paper, that gives you way more strength as an artist than anything else you can do to bypass the process. Uh, you know, it's often said that there are no shortcuts to success. Well, I don't know. Maybe today there are some. I'm not sure. But I think having the um, confidence that you can create something and that it can have a solidity to it, a, 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 an integrity to it, that it can look good, <clears throat> that just gives you just that much more uh, strength in what you're doing. So that's what, I, what I'm going to talk about today. So, what, and, and there's a lot of aspects to it. So I'm just going to deal with them in little bits because there's so much to be said. Obviously, I can't deal with all of it in this one video, but I will start to talk about some basic things and how they can be applied and how we use them as professional artists. So let's get started. Okay. So... Um, shapes. So um, we start out using, I'm using a blue pencil, by the way, to draw the shapes. And let's see if you can't get a sense from the shapes I'm drawing who this character might be. I'm drawing hollow shapes, outlines if you would, but I'm not going to draw any details, I'm just going to draw the shapes. I 
can see if you can tell from the shapes who the character is. Yeah, looks familiar, doesn't it? Donald Duck. So, starting with that shape, I can go into the shape and start to then define details to bring my character out. But because I've done the shapes first and I used a blue pencil so that I can go right over the blue line, then I can draw right on top of that line, you see, so I can define what I want that shape to do. I can put detail in just because I have something as a foundation to start with. So you can see how this makes, say, doing a character a lot easier and a lot faster because you've got something to start with. You're not just starting without anything. And see, by working with the shapes, you can kind of, you can invent poses that you'd want for your character to do a little bit easier because since you're working with shapes, it's not going to be as intimidating to modify the shape to become the character that you want it to be. And it makes it a little easier for you to get whatever details you want. You have, you can, you have time to figure out where you want to put those details and how much you want to put into those details. Yeah. So that's a, that's, this is actually a pretty good way to work. Now, if you were, and because you're working with shapes, you see, well, let's say you were going to draw Donald from another angle and you just started with the shapes. You could see how, let's say he's coming this way. Maybe he's running forward and you got his, you know, you're just dealing with the shapes. The outlines and the shapes, you see, would give you the freedom, you see, to give, give you a setup that then, you know, just those shapes are enough to kind of get you going in a good direction. So, you know, I realize there's a lot of things here, of course, that I'm not talking about, like, how, where, how do I know where to put the eye? And all, you know. But I'm talking now about the generality of the pose itself. You know, the big thing is trying to get the pose and the setup and all of that. And so using the shapes here, this gives you uh, a starting point. So that's really what, you know, I'll, I, at some point I will talk a little more about details. I know all these little uh, details of the drawing and all that. I'm not talking about that now. And I, I'm sure you may have the question, well, like, how do you know where to put this, where to put that detail, whatever? Yeah, okay, that's something that I'd have to get to in another video. But, and I will. But what I wanted you to see was, this is something that we as professionals use as a sort of starting point rather than, you know, it's a little easier to think about things from the standpoint of shapes. That's what I want you to see here. The shapes get us in the, you know, in the ballpark of where we want to be creatively to get the pose we want. See? And then, you know, all the details. of See, the details, that's the fluff on the outside. 
that's the last thing you do. You know, you don't want to jump right to the details. You know, as you work more as an artist, it gets a little easier for you to, you know, jump right to finish things. And, you know, you'll see somebody start to draw something. You'll see me draw something and I'll just jump right to the details. And, you know, well, and so it's like I'm constructing stuff in my head, which is exactly true. But that's why drawing and learning the drawing from the ground up is so helpful because it gives you um, that basis. You need that basis so that you can create anything you want. You know, if you've got a character, say you got a character that's got a, a hat on, big hat, and then let's say it's got a big body, and you got little legs. You know, maybe he's got his hand on his hat or something. But you see, I'm just doing this from the shapes. And you can see right off the bat that this gives me a starting point, see? So that I can create a character just by drawing these shapes. And that gives me a starting point. So that's really what I wanted to talk about here was that starting point, getting that part working so that it becomes easier for you to draw and easier for you to get your character's design. We'll talk more about this in, in other videos, but this was the basis I wanted to get started. So have a great day and remember, take your sketchbook around and draw from life and you'll get a lot of ideas when you see things out in life. Have a good day.